Good morning, everybody. Good morning to day six on the Appalachian Trail. Stayed up on the bald last night. That moon was so bright, kept us, kept me up most of the night. This morning, the over, overcast clouds have come in and there's a slight breeze and chance of rain off and on throughout the day. We're just coming up on this little sign right here. What's left of it? Let's take a quick look. Oh, Stokoa Gap, Sassafras to the right, Fontana Dam to the left, 20 miles. So that's the trail we're working with today and the weather. So if any views arise, I'll bring you guys along for that. See you down trail. like we are coming in here to what I believe is what low yeah there we go locust cove gap now if numbers are right there's probably at least a dozen or so if not more through hikers that last night that passed us back up at Chiwa Bald said they were coming down here to camp they had to have been stacked on top of each other I mean, because there's not, I don't see how they got 12 or 12, at least 12 tents up in here, but who knows? So, let's take you up the trail with me for a minute. This is the trail here. We're working our way towards Tacoa Gap. Still been overcast most of the morning, misting off and on, but not too bad. All right, coming into a gap here. Let's see which gap this is. Might be our last climb to before lunchtime. Oh, here we are. Yep. Simp Gap. When they come up with these names. Simp Gap. So that. We gotta climb that and then a nice slow long descent down to lunch. It is still misting, still overcast. It's a cool breeze, so keeping the body temperature down that's good nice and cool all right let's get at it still working our descent into Stokoa just about a half mile left looks like we got a lookout Oh, there's that farmland that I've been, I've been seeing that for the last day and a half. Like a little farm village town. Neat. Let's take a look out here. Let's drop off. Clouds just covering the tops of the mountains. There's our first sign of Stokoa Gap, and it looks like somebody down there is doing trail magic. Be my first legit trail magic this year. All right, tell you what, I'm excited. 
I don't care what it is. Let's get down there and get something to eat. We gotta work our way this way first. All right, back on trail. Didn't take any uh, footage at Stokoa Gap, right where we were having a little bit of trail magic because the skies opened up and it was nasty. Winds were howling, rain was pouring. He had some tarps set up that we were all just trying to stay, stay out of the elements. Had some sodas and some uh, donuts and stuff like that, made coffee. It was really nice. Stopped, ate lunch, got rid of some trash. The usual stuff but uh, we're back on trail now we've got about another mile and a half to go to the next possible campsite shelter setup but uh, we'll see how full it is when we get there right now the trail's not too bad we are coming going to be going up Jacob's ladder here shortly so that ought to be interesting and I don't think I'm gonna film a whole lot of it I may uh, Show you the beginning of it, but uh, that's gonna be a long climb, and that's coming up here shortly. So, I'm gonna turn you around and show you a little bit of the trail. All right, well I told you I'd show it to you, but I'm not taking you along with on a climb. That's Jacob's Ladder. Going all the way up to the top, and then we go back down the other side. She is a doozy. That is looking level. And that's up the stairs. All right, let's get to it. All right, we are coming in to the turnoff, to where the shelter is, and right on cue, the rains are picking back up. Lovely. <laughs> no rain, no pain, no main, huh? All right, there we go. Take a look at this and go see what we got for accommodations for the night. Brown Fort Gap Shelter, point one. And we'll be heading left tomorrow, pushing north. Let's see what we got down here. All right, good evening, everybody. We are here. The rains have subsided for now. We are at Brown Fork Gap Shelter. So just got uh, everything set up. There's a lot of us here. Um, a lot of tenters. Taking the only rem remotely flat spots. A bunch of hammockers. And uh, we are slam packed here in the shelter. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing right now with their stuff set out, so I'm not going to go in there and intrude. But uh, we're all staying in there. But we'll, like we always do at the end of the day, we'll get this book turned around and uh, show you what we where we started. All right, so we spent the night right there at Chiwa Bald, mile marker 145, yeah. elevation of 5,062 feet, and then uh, we dropped down. Most of the day, dropping down, had a couple small climbs, no big deal. We got into Stokoa Gap. That elevation was only 3165, so it was mostly dropping down all day. Had lunch there, had our first set of uh, Trail Magic sodas and donuts and stuff. And then we climbed up out of there and then we did Jacob's Ladder. And that was a straight up, whew, and it was in the rain in the clouds so there was no views just head down and pushing on and we're sitting now at brown fort gap shelter at 152.9 for by the book of a 7.9 mile day yeah that number six says that's how many people they sleep in the shelter there's actually seven of us in here tonight trying to make do and get through the night and get through the rain so but it was a good day all in all no uh no issues no complaints body's feeling real good Gonna get some dinner made up here and uh, get batteries charged. Do it all again tomorrow. See you guys in the morning. Have a good night. Bye.